Uh, welcome to another MTD Daily, slightly different today. We're going to be uh, touring a machine shop in Hertfordshire. We're going to be joined by Stuart Wade from Empire Manufacturing, who's on the line now. Um, Stuart, good to see you again. How's things for you hi. down there in Hertford? Yeah, hi, Paul. Good to see you as well. Um, yeah, things are not too bad, actually. Um, obviously, despite the current situation, it's, uh, it's left quite a lot of uncertainty with a lot of people. Um, and it has with us to a point, but we're, we're ticking along quite nicely. Uh, we've not had to furlough any workers or anything like that. So, yeah, we're, we're getting by OK at the moment. Now, I said you're in Hartford, but I think it's Hoddesdon, but hey-ho. Um, yeah, it, it's Hartford Essex. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. well, it's Hertfordshire, actually. Yeah, my mistake. <laughs> uh, so, Stuart, what we're going to do today is let's, let's go for a little bit of a walk around your machine shop and talk about what yeah. you do. Uh, can someone else take that order when the phone's yeah, ringing? Yeah, that's right. One? <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's an order. It's probably someone chasing money, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stuart, so talk us through the capacity that you've got in your machine shop, what you do. Yeah, okay, so uh, we've got our uh, CMZ fixed head machine. Um, to be honest, in terms of capacity right now, this machine stacks out, so I probably shouldn't show you that just yet. <laughs> what, 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 tell, just before you move away from it, I'm interested to know what that machine's capable of. I mean, you've got okay. a gantry on it, haven't you? So it, it's yes, completely it is, automated. Yeah. It's got a gantry, um, and it's also got a bar feeder on there. So our gantry is just here, if you can see that. Um, we load all the billets in there. A robot comes and picks them up, takes them over the top, um, and then it drops them into the work area here. Um, it also unloads from there, so it's all completely automated. Uh, we run overnight where we can. Um, we've also got the bar feeder on the back of it, so. Uh, so you got you got the luxury million. of both worlds there. You can you can do your billets as well as your bars. Yeah, that's right. So um, anything above 65 mil, we'll do in billets. 65 mil or lower, we'll put on the bar feeder. And depending on the type of work it is, if it's something that's quite critical and it doesn't want any um, any sort of marks on it being spat out through the chute, we can unload it with the gantry as well. So we can bar feed and then unload with the gantry if we need to. So it's quite versatile. Um, 12 station turret on there, so we can work front and back. Uh, it's got a sub spindle. So it's, it's a good all-round machine. Um, and it's got a lot of power as well. So it's a it's very really capable... A very capable bit of kit, but in, in addition to that as being a capable bit, bit of kit, you've got a lot of star sliding head lathes as well, haven't you, Stuart? We do, yep. Um, I'll just stay on that kind of work just briefly, Paul, because okay. we also invested in a Romy C420 um, okay. beginning of last year. And this is basically just to kind of take the workload a little bit off the CMZ. What we was finding was that we was getting um, some inquiries for very small batches and sometimes quite simple stuff that would tie up that machine and it didn't really warrant that um, you know we want to keep that machine running all the time with the longer batch runs um, this is great for the real small fairly simple stuff if it's anything that needs any second off in we've got our three axis mill over here as well so anything with uh, you know any milling on or anything like that we can turn it on the Romy and then we can bring it over to our lead well um, just simple three axis uh, mill and then obviously we've got a host of tools that we can mill, drill, um, yeah, whatever. Now, just before we touch on the on the lead well, Stuart, uh, that Romy, I'm intrigued. I see a lot of them around, easy to program, because that's the key to a machine yeah. like that, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, I mean, you can program it offline, but to be honest, it's so quick and easy to do it at the machine. It's all conversational. It's a Siemens control. Um, you can do everything on it. it um, it's all, like I say, it's all conversational. You can put on threads. Um, you know, taper turning, turning radiuses, um, everything. It's it's really quite quick and easy to do. And you can do some fairly complex shapes. Um, and it's, yeah, it's pretty simple. So we tend to do everything on the machine um, there rather than offline. And then you have got the milling capacity, which you were about to go into there with your, yes. your lead well machine. Uh, a pretty sturdy workhorse for you. Sorry, say it again. Uh, a pretty sturdy workhorse for you. Yeah, um, we've I mean we've done all sorts with this, and to be honest, it's it's a bit of a jobbing machine for us. It's you know it does a lot of stuff just that we want to knock up, um, but obviously we do get the orders for it as well. And sometimes we're machining 500 stainless steel 316 brackets. Um, it's got a fair amount of grunt. Um, we've got the um, quick lock uh, vices on there. And yeah, it's, it's quite a workhorse, you know, it's a relatively simple machine. We program it all offline. Um, 
but it just works. You know, we, we program it offline, plug it in, put the program in, and it's just off it goes. Re- um, you know, never really have any issues with it. So, uh, yeah, re- it's good. Reliability is a massive thing with machines. Let's now touch on your stars, Stuart, um, yes. from a turning perspective. That is, yeah. in terms of a quantity of machines, that's what you have the most of, isn't it, in your machine shop? Yeah, so obviously we, we're predominantly sliding head. Um, we do all sorts of things on there. And I mean, I think as anyone knows, sliding head machines are not just small turn parts anymore. They've got a host of different machines and different tooling attachments, and you can do some really, really complex stuff on there. Um, so, yeah. And have you, have, have you experienced that? Because it is a big point we talk to Star about, about how flexible and adaptable those machines are now. Have they taken, yeah, right. have, have they enabled you to recreate and rethink the way you make some of your parts? Yeah, I mean, some of the parts that we've made, um, you know, initially you'd look at it and you think, oh, that's a mill job. You wouldn't think that it'd come off of a lathe of any sort. Um, but in actual fact, they, they can sometimes be a lot more efficient running on, on this type of machine because it's fully automated. If we was running the parts on the mill, you'd have to load maybe eight or ten at a time if you set it up um, like that. And again, it's still the time. And as soon as the day is finished and the, the workers go home, that machine's off and you're not making any money. So with the stars, um, you know, they're a lot more efficient in that you can keep them running. And quite often they're faster cycle times as well. So, you know, they're a, they're a really versatile machine. But you mentioned to me earlier, uh, Stuart, about stainless steels on your machining center. Mm. If you were to machine stainlesses on your star sliding head lathes, would they main, maintain tolerances overnight, you know, even yes. with those harder materials? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we machine stainless all the time. Uh, we've machined titanium and Inconel on them. Um, and the tolerances that we hold on there is sometimes down to sort of three microns. And it's it, the accuracy is absolutely fantastic. Um, the only time really it goes out is with tool wear, which you're going to get on anything. Mm. Um, you know, if our shutter door goes up, it can have an effect. So it's, you know, the tolerances are that critical sometimes that we have to keep the temperature controlled within the unit. Um, we don't have a temperature controlled area, but we do our best to kind of try and maintain um, the stability of everything. And sometimes that's what we have to do. We have to monitor the temperature, keep the doors shut or open them a little bit to keep the temperature the same. Um, but yeah, in terms of power and that, they're not the most powerful machines, but the accuracy is absolutely fantastic. So you and I, and I think with that with tools and, and different depths of cut and things like that, and uh, yeah, the accuracy yeah, is absolutely amazing on them. And when you look at sliding head nowadays, though, you talk about power, but they have become heavier. Uh, long gone are the days where you were just machining small diameter washers, aren't they? I mean, you know, you can go yeah. up to 42 mil bar and on the harder materials. So it yeah, does right. give you more uh, of an advantage when, when sort of uh, proposing and quoting jobs. Um, uh, Stuart, I just want to, before we finish this, I want to talk to you about how things are at the moment. Uh, business is okay. You are doing maybe yeah. some bits for the medical sector, but generally yes. outside of that, you, the business is still good. Yeah, we're still ticking along. Um, we we were very, very busy. So actually, it's quietened down a little bit, but that's given us a chance to catch up on other stuff. So it's, it's given us a little bit of a breathing room. Um, and that obviously enables us to now start going after new work. Um, you know, if we get any inquiries and, you know, most inquiries now are wanted for the next week or sometimes even within a few days. And we've got the capacity where we can handle that um, and you know that's that's what we're trying to go after now um, so yeah if, if we do get anything we're able to react straight away so so well, well, well let's conclude on that because hopefully we, we can help you out with that immediate capacity what we can vouch for thank you very much for joining us today Stuart what we can vouch for is this company uh, is uh, quick to respond uh, a, a reliable source for components, but it, regardless of the types of parts you need and the, regardless of the volumes that you need, uh, Empire Manufacturing can certainly help you. And you've seen there uh, what the capacity is that they offer. Uh, that's it for today. If you want to join in, if you want to be a, a guest on our show, make, to, make sure you contact us at enquiries at mtdcnc.com.